What's up guys, welcome back to Ready Player Rick. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's fairly quick video, we're going to be taking a look at the Air Link. So you need to have your quest updated to version 28. If you haven't got it already, they are rolling them out, but it does seem to be taking some time. Now you go on to, once you've got version 28, go on to experimental features, toggle down very slightly, and you'll see Air Link. Uh, mine's already toggled on, obviously. So you just need to toggle that on. What you'll need to do next is you'll need to pair your computer. It's not as hard as it sounds, especially if you've already got the Rift Home environment already on your PC or laptop. So what we'll do next is we will go on to, still need to see on settings, go on to quick actions, and there you'll see that the Oculus Air Link. Now mine's already connected up, but I'll show you in a moment through virtual desktop. Uh, how you get it uh, working on your PC to link it up as well. It'll take a moment to load up. There we have it, the Rift home environment. It seems to look pretty good. I've tested out a Rift game. Doesn't seem to be too bad. There seems to be mixed results for people. I do have an Ethernet cable that runs directly from my router into my PC. Uh, I think that is an issue for some people, but also it depends on what type of hardware you've got, um, your router itself. Uh, it's best to have it on 5 gigahertz settings if you can, because I think that can cause problems as well. Obviously, this is my just my Rift Test home environment. So, let's have a look next at the virtual desktop. So this is the Rift S settings and everything. So we go onto here and we go down to settings and we click onto beta. At the bottom you'll see Air Link and you, you toggle that on. And then once you've done that you should it should work okay. Now I have checked out the Steam home environment. I've also checked out Vive port as well out of interest. Let's just quickly go on there now. With Vive port, you don't actually yet have to go on the home environment if you don't want to, by the way. You can just install the games and they show up on your Steam account. It seems to on mine anyway. It's a, it's a cool little home environment. Anyway, so we're going to quit this app now, and then we're going to go back to a home environment, or the Rift home environment, and then we're just going to go onto the Steam home environment quickly. I need to go into Library, Steam VR. It's loading up now. Take a moment. This is all wireless, thanks to Air Link. Um, I've never actually been able to get onto my uh, Rift Home environment wirelessly as of yet. I could get onto Virtual Desktop, which Virtual Desktop is great by the way. So what I was saying about Viveport as well, that's Cosmodread, which I've got through Viveport, but it comes up on my Steam games, which is kind of handy. And then we're going to, we can come out, yeah, quit up. So there you have it guys. It's as easy as that. It's free as well. It's something they're going to work on. It's not perfect yet. But if you haven't bought Virtual Desktop and you think money's a little bit tight, then that's free. It's just as long as you get the uh, version 28 download, you'll find it in settings under experimental features. Anyway guys, if you like this video, you know, give me a like, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see my future content, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification, that way you won't miss any future videos.